Welcome to Highfield Think Tank TV, Kasoma Farouk of Uganda, with our program, Uncommon Wisdom. Today, we are going to make analysis about the collapse of Benzika's empire. So we are like saying today, Benzika Enterprises Limited, one of Uganda's largest poultry businesses, is facing a financial crisis that threatens to wipe out its assets and operations. The company, which has been in the poultry industry for over 31 years, owes to banks a total of 21 billion and is unable to repay the loans due to the economic crisis. Benzika Enterprises was founded by Samuel Mukasa, a prominent and wealthy poultry business mogul who grew the company from a small hatchery to a regional leader in the production and distribution of the old chicksy, animal feed and the dressed chicken. The company previously controlled about 60% of Uganda's poultry market share and, ex and exported its products to neighboring countries. So I'm saying today, in 2014, the company partnered with 8 Miles, a venture capital fund, to, ex to expand its business and launch new products. The company was renamed Benzika International and received equity from 8 Miles. However, the, partner the partnership did not work out well and Mukasa eventually left Benzika International and started Benzika Enterprises again. So I'm saying today, the company's revenues plummeted and it struggled to meet its operation costs and loan obligations. The company borrowed the money from two banks, one 10 billion and another 11 billion to keep the business afloat. However, the banks have now lost patience with the company and have hired to Musim Kabega and the company advocates a law firm to auction off the company's properties to recover their money. The properties that are said to be auctioned include dinner apartments in Intenda, Kampala, 41 acres of land in Kasambia with the hatcheries that have a capacity of 460,000 chicks per week. Can you imagine? And 100 acres of land in Ibulemezi. The auction is scheduled to take place on 12th October 2023 unless the company pays the money due to the banker due to the banks together with the associated fees and cost of recovery before that date. The advertisement of the auction was published in one of the Ugandan daily newspapers. The proprietors of Benzika Enterprises have appealed to the government of Uganda for a bailout of 30 billion to save their business and the jobs of hundreds of Ugandans employed by the company. Isaac Mkasa, one of the eight directors, said that the company needs a proper financial plan and a cash infusion to revive its operations and pay off its debt. As it says, all we are asking for is a financial infusion. This company has provided a livelihood to hundreds of people. 300 are full-time employees and about 5,000 people supply us with inputs as well as sell our produce. Of course, he told the new vision. So we are saying today, he added that the company's business partners have gone all out to strangle them financially and that the banks are adamant. He said that if the government bails them out with 30 billion, they would be able to pay off 21 billion and remain with 90 billion for operations. The government of Uganda has not yet responded to the plea of Benzika Enterprises. It is not clear whether the government will consider bailing out to the company or not.
The company previously built out some companies that were facing financial difficulties, such as Atiaka Sugar and Roko Construction Company. However, some experts have argued that the government bills out should only be limited to a few companies that contribute significantly to the national treasury by paying taxes and employing a high number of people. They have also suggested that such companies should be thoroughly audited to ascertain causes of business failure and the subsequent ability of repayment of the bill out funds by the recipient company. Basic Enterprises is one of the many indigenous Ugandan companies and businesses that are on the verge of losing or, ha or have already lost their tangible assets due to bank loans. A myriad of factors including high commercial bank interest rates, government's failure to pay suppliers, political instability in key regional export markets like South Sudan and the weakening economy have been suggested as causes of the company's poor performance. The fate of being Zika Enterprises hangs in the balance as it awaits either a government bailout or a bank auction. The company collapse would not only affect its owners and employees but also its customers and suppliers who depend on its products and services. I'm saying the poultry industry in Uganda would also lose one of its major players and face increased competition from other players in the region. So the hard question I'm asking today, is the government of Uganda willing to bail out Beinzika? You can subscribe on our YouTube channel. We are going to go ahead and make a clear analysis about this. Welcome to Highfield Think Tank TV, Kasoma Farouk of Uganda, with our program Uncommon Wisdom. Today, we are going to make analysis about the collapse of Binzika's empire. So we are like saying today, Binzika Enterprises Limited, one of Uganda's largest poultry businesses, is facing a financial crisis that threatens to wipe out its assets and operations. The company, which has been in the poultry industry for over 31 years, owes two banks a total of 21 billion and is unable to repay the loans due to the economic crisis. Benzika Enterprises was founded by Samuel Mukasa, a prominent and wealthy poultry business mogul who grew the company from a small hatchery to a regional leader in the production and distribution of the old chicksi, animal feed and dressed chicken. The company previously controlled about 60% of Uganda's poultry market share and, ex and exported its products to neighboring countries. So I'm saying today, in 2014, the company partnered with 8 Miles, a venture capital fund, to, ex to expand its business and launch new products. The company was renamed Binzika International and received